Tech Jungle. The place for you in the jungle makes you struggle. You probably know how to use Windows, but installing it can be a whole different story. What is a flash drive? What is an ISO file? And how do I even install Windows 11? I will try to answer all these questions as best I can. Let's get started. You need to know about these two things before we start installing Windows 11. The first thing is a flash drive. A flash drive is a small portable storage device that uses flash memory to store and transfer data. It's commonly known as a USB drive, thumb drive, or pen drive. It plugs into a computer's USB port and allows you to easily carry and transfer files between devices. The second thing is an ISO file. An ISO file is a disk image of a CD or DVD. It contains all the data and can be used to create a virtual drive or burn a physical disk. It's commonly used for distributing software and operating systems. First, you need to download an ISO file of Windows 11. Then go to Microsoft's official website. Scroll down to option number 3 that says Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO for x64 devices. Here choose the only option available and press download. Now choose the language you want to download. I prefer English so I take that. Now press download and wait till it's done. Here is short description of making a bootable USB use Rufus to create a bootable USB. Download Rufus, connect a USB drive, select the ISO file, configure settings, and start the process. Wait for Rufus to finish, then safely eject the USB drive. Now you have a bootable USB to install an OS or boot into a live environment. Watch the video in the description for more info. When your ISO file is downloaded and you have made your USB bootable, plug it into your computer and upload your ISO file to your USB drive. When it is done, plug it into the computer you want to install it on. When that computer turns on quickly spam F12 so you get to the BIOS settings and choose to boot from the USB. We use Windows 10 as example, but when download Windows 11 it's the same procedure. Here you need to be quick and press any key to boot. When it has loaded you need to choose a language. Press next and then install now. I don't have a product key, but if you have then enter it here. Choose what version you want. We choose home because that's enough for home use. If you want to read this, good luck else accept it and press next. We choose custom because we need delete disks and so on. Delete all the disks you can see and press next. Now we have to wait till it's installed. I am back when it's done. While it's installing you can press the like button and subscribe if you want more. Let's see if it's done installing. Now it's done. When you press restart remember to pull the USB out before it starts again. Now we just need to wait. When it's done loading it talks about have to set windows up. When it's done talking you first need to select where you come from. Then you need to add a keyboard layout. We have to wait again. Your computer will now restart. I can't help you with these last things because that's personal email and passwords you need to make. I hope that helped you with downloading Windows 11. If it helped to smash that like button and subscribe videos. See you in the next one.